Hey, everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at Myself at Home. We have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. This is episode 238, Update Your Home for Under $100. And the show notes for today's episode can be found at decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash 238. And you know what? This is where I feel like we focus a lot of our attention because this is this is such an easy way to add some oomph to your home without spending a lot of money. So this is something that really anybody can do. And you know, some of the things we're going to talk about just may be a little bit of a review for you, but it's always great to have them in the forefront of your mind. Yeah. And it's good to be able to do something in an hour or a half hour or five minutes or a weekend, you know, so if you, some of the things we're going to be talking about today, you could re- literally do while you're listening to us. And that is so fun. I love the satisfaction of having accomplish something right away and, and affected a change. And then you can appreciate the change right away. And that's why kind of like when I do crafts and stuff, like if I don't finish right away, sometimes it doesn't get totally done because <laughs> I, I just want to be done. Like I went with the hour craft, like give it to me and let me finish it. And you know, I want my whatever to be dried or my last stitch to be done within an hour. So this is kind of like, a, think of like just a quick fix, you know, under a hundred dollars. It's not going to be a giant project. You don't have to call the guy. You could just mm. do it. Don't you a love guy. it when you don't have to call the guy. Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. Well, speaking of that, you're making me feel bad because, you know, my friend, my dear friend, Peggy. Love that, Peggy. Yes. Hi, Peggy. I said, oh, I'll make a slip cover for your ottoman. Sure. Of course I'll do that for you. Well, she got me the ottoman and the fabric and I'm (gasps) sitting here. There they sit. There they sit. I know for several days now. I mean, I'm going to do it for her, but I'm like, ay, 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 I'm having a hard time finding the time. Uh, hang tight, Peggy. Hang tight. But well, it's by the time you're staring out, at me, done. well, I know what I you can do so. for her after what? you send. I have uh, when you take the finished, mm-hmm. um, beautiful ottoman over. You might just even want to give her a few faux flowers, and that's going as a, as a sorry. It was so late, and that's going to be my first tip. Um, we talk about fresh flowers all the time, but if you're going to spend a hundred dollars. You might want to invest that money on faux flowers because they last forever. And when I <laughs> yes, or, they do, <laughs> or almost forever, <laughs> literally forever. Mm-hmm. And the thing about faux, uh, faux flowers, you know, I have such a, I do like them as long as they, you can't tell they're faux. And if you can't tell they're faux, you're going to spend more for them. So that would be a wonderful one hundred dollar investment to really make a difference in how your home looks. Good one. Uh Yeah. So I have an idea. Well, also I'm thinking, I'm not, I'm thinking not just things for under a hundred dollars, but something that's really going to make a difference in a room. That's what I really tried to focus on here. And it's hard to come up with just one or two things per room that would really make a big difference. But I think color is going to make a difference. And even if you have a neutral room, it's so nice to have a little bit of color here or there. So for example, for a dining room, I thought, what about a beautiful tablecloth or a table runner uh, or placemats? I think that would really make a nice uh, look. And I, the reason I say table runner or tablecloth is that's something that you would more commonly have in your dining room, even if you weren't using it. Whereas I think of placemats, I just put them down when we're eating and then take them up when we're not. Okay. So. The, the, it, mm-hmm. When you were saying that, that's exactly what was running through my head. I was going to ask you guys, because I always have a runner on my table. I just like yeah, it softens uh, me too. it in the color. Right? I, I don't really do the tablecloth that much maybe for holidays, but I wouldn't necessarily leave out placemats all the time, even right. though they're really pretty. How I do you know. feel about that? See, I don't I'm think a, I I'm would. a put them away girl. Put but away. now I do mm-hmm. use a lot of tablecloths and here's why. I think in general, they may seem a little, I think the runners and maybe the throws feel mm-hmm. a little more updated mm-hmm. than a whole tablecloth. But mm-hmm. I have so many gorgeous vintage tablecloths that have just a beautiful design on them that are very unique, one of a kind look. And so, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm going to use those because they're just so beautiful. 
Can I uh, give you all a tip on just changing it up with the runner a little bit? Just shaking up your runner yeah, situation yeah, yeah. a little bit. Mm-hmm. Shake I it up, this, baby. Yeah, shake it up a little bit. I did this a, a little ways back. I think it was during one of those styled and set tours that we do. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to, oh, how do I make this look a little bit different? And also, you know, for the pictures, how do you give it a, a, a sense of uh, three dimensions when you have a runner, right? It's flat generally. So, I mean, I didn't invent this idea. You made it into a towel animal? <laughs> Gosh, Anita, you totally ruined it for me. Now. I say that? No, it's it's not as exciting as that, but I did do something I thought was kind of cool. I'm going to try the towel animal oh next. My God. Um, do you blow balloons into the shapes of animals? <laughs> um, okay, I didn't invent this idea, but I had never tried it at home. But it is something you can try at home, unlike some of the things you see advertised on television. Don't try this at home. Do try this at home. Um, I just kind of ruched, great word, right? Mm -hmm. Ruched up the fabric a little bit. So Mm -hmm. I got a runner that was longer. So I spent a little bit more on it. So it was, uh, you know, had more length to it. And then I was able to ruche it up. So when you say ruche it, you did not sew it, the ruches. You just gathered with your hands. You know me, girlfriend. Yeah, I know. A scrunch would be the actual term to use. I, yeah, I I knew what you meant. Yeah, I would like to say I artfully scrunched it. There you go. Okay. So I kind of fluffed it up. So it kind of had it had little peaks and valleys, and then in, inside of the peaks and valleys. So I had my one big, maybe it was the white pitcher with the flowers in that I like to use, and then I maybe had some candlesticks, and then I think at that time it might have been pumpkins, but it could be anything you could, could do. Lem- oh, I think I did lemons, actually. It could be lemons. It could mm-hmm. be other little votives. It could be little vases of sprigs of boxwood or flowers. And I kind of tucked them inside to the peaks and the valleys. Mm-hmm. And it made the runner so much more interesting, I thought. Anyway. Oh, I remember um, that. It is, was beautiful. It was good, right? Mm-hmm. And so, right. Uh, you know, we have a lot of runners on Bespoke. So you could go have a look there or you might have... Bespoke.store. Sure, that's it. And I think you probably all have some runners, uh, you know, hanging around your house somewhere, pull them out. If they're long enough, try that. Or even if you have one long one and then you have another one, put the other one on top of it and scrunch it and play around with it a little bit. And hey, that might not cost you anything. Um, you could definitely get a runner on bespoke decor.store for less than a hundred bucks, but you might be able to just pull one out of your closet for free and try it and see if you like it. And if you're not sure how to do it, send me an email or um, we will put the link to that post in the show notes. And before we leave the dining room, I wanted to throw another idea out there that I think is going to give it a very fresh look, definitely under $100. And that is, I love, and I know Kelly also loves Turkish towels. Mm, I do. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of crazy about the Turkish towels. So I have- Well, don't leave me out. I love them too. Okay. Okay. I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. So Yvonne loves them as well. So what I like to do is get one that is um, not exactly the size, you know, a tablecloth really needs to be, you know, hang over all the sides, several inches. But with the Turkish towel, I like to drape it over. If you're facing the table, maybe it's on the wider side, it's going to go on, you know, fold over on the wider side. So it's going to hang over on both sides, but show maybe five inches of table on either side. And I think this is kind of a Mm -hmm. fresh, clean, new look that you can use. And this is something that looks fantastic, especially when, well, whether you're using the table or not, but this is such a beautiful look to add on your table. They have a fringe on either side and usually they are striped. And it's just a really especially fun, cool look for the summer. So I use those on my tables, especially in the summer. If you put a bowl of lemons on top of it, you're, you are set, your dining room is set for the summer. Nice. That sounds really beautiful. I like that. And then you could r- take, pull your fouta off and wrap it That's around like a sarong called. and then yes, head and go to, to the Greece beach. and go see oh, Mamma Mia too with your best girlfriends or your daughters or something. Well, because guess If anybody what? hasn't seen it, they should go see it. It was so I'm, much fun. I'm going to see that tonight. You are? And actually, oh, I'm going to so take fun. my mom. My oh, mom fun. is so oh. is, the, is so hip. And I just adore her. She's like, she's like my girlfriend. And um, yeah, so we're, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do dinner and a movie tonight together. And that's what we're going to see. Oh, so fun. I took my girls the other day. The day it came out, we went to see it because we have been a long time Mamma Mia 1 fan. Uh, well, you oh, you got to love ABBA, you know? 
that their music. I it just is love amazing that. how they made that play around all those songs and how they all somehow work. And like, who cares if it doesn't <laughs> even work? You just like totally love swept it. It doesn't matter. It's yeah. just, well, you're there for the music and there's yeah. the, <laughs> and, yeah, the and, that, and, and what's oh. her name? Oh my goodness. The, the voices are so beautiful. So um, great. Well, the so, little girl who yeah. plays the main lead, she was in Downton Abbey. Yeah, Lily. Lily James. Rose. She was Rose. Oh, yeah. No, she's she been was in a Rose, bunch of things. right? Yeah, Rose. Yeah, Lily James. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then yeah, she Lily was, played Rose. <laughs> she played um, right. <laughs> Cinderella yeah. in the most recent Cinderella. Yes. And yeah, she's just a, a, a cute little girl. But anyway, I've got something else. We're a little off topic, so we'll get back on real quick. Um, I, I think you should paint something. And I'm not talking about your walls. I'm talking about um, anything else in your house that's a little drab, like a, a picture frame, a clock. Uh, you can even paint a chair and the upholstery, and it'll look like leather. So um, way under $100, just with a little bit of elbow grease, you can really transform something in your house. And I know that uh, Anita has painted many things before. I don't know, Kelly. Do you paint? Oh, well, you spray paint. You're the spray paint. Queen. Oh, yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I Love painted it. fabric before. I mean, it did it did well with the chalk paint. I mean, you don't want to get it wet, though. I don't know what would well, happen. Well, there's, yeah, know. but um, my maker studio has a paint that you can actually paint fabric and then you put um, um, a wax over it. It really looks almost like leather. And it is, it's totally waterproof. So um, you can just paint all kinds of things. If you don't like the color of something, paint it. If you've got like a golden oak, and, and I pick on golden oak, but, you know, a, a, right now it has a sort of a bad name, you know, in the decorating world. But, you know, give it 15 years and we'll see if it comes back oh, again. Everybody will be like chipping the paint off their golden oak. To get their to get golden oak. You know, I, I wasn't crazy about it when it came out. But I if you have, got it. Um, I, I, actually, I actually did like it. When you, like, if you have a, a file, like a magazine file, uh, you just those little file guys that stand up straight. You don't like the color of that, or you want to put a pattern on it. Paint something. It is the biggest bang for your buck with with not a lot of work, and it's fun. You know, be creative and give yourself give yourself the time. Set that so, uh, um, time aside and just do something to sort of unconnect, unwind, spend it with yourself and your paintbrush. I always say a paintbrush is like a magic wand. So, well, you know, with the paint, I think just as big a deal as painting something because you can add some color with the paint or just change the color. It's the same thing with pillows and throws. And I know we say it a lot, but it's because it's really one of the best ways to update a room, especially a bedroom or a living room. Uh, that's that's how you can really give it a pop of color. That's how you can change out the, the look for the seasons. And the the throws, you can throw it over a chair, over a bed, and back to, I'm going to throw back to my uh, Turkish towel idea. The Turkish towels are just a chameleon for your home. You can use those in a bedroom. I've used them at the foot of a bed. Mm, if you use the larger pretty. size, you can use them kind of like a blanket at the foot of your bed. You can use it over as a throw over a chair. And the smaller size, you can actually use as a hand towel in your bathroom. You can use them as your show towels if you want to use different towels for your real actual use towels. And then, yeah, and then wear them to grease. Uh, you know, then you can <laughs> put them on. Wear, them, yeah, that's wear exactly them right. And then uh, the larger size you can use, um, you know, as bath towels. So I mean, they're really Anita, very can I jump in here? multifunctional. Uh huh. I have their flaut, not flautas, fatas, right? I always mm-hmm. want to say flautas. Um, I have them in our downstairs guest bathroom. They are so much nicer than hand towels. They have that pretty fringe, and actually, they wash great. I'm so surprised how well they wash. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But also, um, I, I just I got an email from one of my readers saying, "Oh, Yvonne, would you do a post on how to hide like a fr- uh, like a um, an ugly sofa you don't like, or like a." I think she had a brown leather sofa and you know, some people love them and some people are tired of them, but she can't get rid of it right now. That's the way to go Buy a great big felta and use it over the back cover, almost the whole back of your sofa and add, you know, just add pillows, lots of pillows in front of that. It practically will hide your sofa and it's a good way to update it. And I think you could probably do that for well under a hundred dollars. 
so <clears throat> many people have a sofa that they're unhappy with the look of it. And how can you update it for less than $100? Short of buying a new sofa, I think that's one of the best ideas. I agree to put with something you. really large across there, mm-hmm. especially, uh, you know, something that's decorative that has your color or texture or whatever. So I think it's a great way to go. And you can also do the same thing with a chair. You know, don't forget if there's a chair you don't like. Um, At one point we had two um, uh, brown leather club chairs and they're really beautiful. They just photograph horribly. So I couldn't use them. So for a while I was using a big tartan. This was in the fall, our Buchanan antique tartan um, throw or car rug um, tartan. And they looked really good because I could put that throw over the back, tuck it into the seat, drop, drink, bring it over the seat, and the fringe hung over the front of it. So just doing little things like that. Or how about this idea? What about putting new towels in your bathroom? We're talking about Faltus, but what about just getting a whole new set of towels? Fresh, fluffy towels. You know, we just show got towels. new white <laughs> towels for, well, these aren't show towels. We actually use them, those fluffy white towels for our bathroom. And not only do they look so beautiful in my armoire uh, to have all these fresh, clean, new towels that all match and they look exactly the same on the same Mm -hmm. shelf, but they're wonderful to use. It really makes a nice experience uh, in the bathroom. But while we're in the bathroom, I was going to suggest that you change out your shower curtain because again, that tends not to be super expensive. What a good idea. And you forget forget about that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just there. Yeah, you do. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. BritBox just keeps getting better. The new Archie is amazing. And it's not the comics. It's about Cary Grant. Archie is the brand new limited series starring Jason Isaacs as Archie Leach, the man who became Cary Grant. From the award-winning screenwriter of Philomena, Archie tells Grant's born in Britain, made in Hollywood story, the dramatic grit to glamour transformation that led him to become one of the most famous people in the world. You are going to absolutely love the acting, but also the styling, the outfits, the scenery. It's the first time his story has been told in collaboration with his daughter, Jennifer Grant, and ex-wife, Diane Cannon. The performances from Jason Isaacs and the rest of the cast are amazing. And it's only available on BritBox. So sign up for BritBox today to stream Archie and other fan favorites from any device. And we have a special limited time offer for our U.S. and Canadian listeners. Get 50% off. Yes, that's 50% off your first month when you sign up for a monthly plan. But only if you go to BritBox.com and use our promotion code DTT at checkout. You're going to love Archie. So head over right now and get 50% off your first month of BritBox. Use the promotion code DTT at BritBox.com. I have a towel question. Okay. This has plagued me. So maybe you guys can help. And maybe other people have the same question. Okay. So there are towels that you can get at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, and they seem really great, right? And I've bought towels there before and they are really great. Then you look in some of the catalogs and it's like $60 for a towel, mm-hmm. or you right. could get it at TJ Maxx for 12 
you know, a big towel, like a body towel. I'm not talking okay. about a face cloth. Or something. I have a. What's the difference? Well, Is there a difference? It's all <laughs> cotton, right? Um, uh, some of it's a name. Some of it maybe it's a little plush or more thick. But here, I just have a take on this, and here's my I take. Knew you would. Get yeah, it. you know, I have a take. There's on a lot every- of cheap, crappy uh, towels, though. I'm gonna- everything decor. Well, here's what <laughs> I say: white towels have a shelf life. Mm-hmm. Um, well, actually, any towel has a shelf life. Some white t- towels just show up sooner. But if white towels show that up, it's the same thing with the, like your gray towels. Mm-hmm. They get dingy. They get like locked in, you know, dirt that you really can't get out. Lots of mm-hmm. washings. Um, just make them look like a little, a little tired looking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, see, I love those like almost threadbare towels. They're perfect to, to for to put my hair up in after I wash it. Um, oh, well, just get one of those hair things. I have one of those. Yeah, things I, that goes I've on tried my, those. Yeah. I don't care for those, but you know, each really zone. because the big towels they're too heavy. I feel like my they are heavy. Over. That's exactly why. I mean, I have I I I have a, th- um, a lot of hair, so and I know that um, uh, both of you do too. So you need something that's going to absorb. But those big big towels. They're even hard to maneuver around with. So I, I, what I do is I just make an investment. I mostly go to Home Goods. I must, I must just say how it is, and I don't buy like sixty dollars towels because I, don't I know no. they have a shelf life. Yeah. So I will maybe spend sixty dollars on a towel in a, in maybe the life of like like two years. But I have tons of white towels. Oh, you I mean just, you're saying aggregate? You would spend yes, but okay. see, I can't when I go to Home Goods. It's almost like my cart goes to, okay, I need a couple new washcloths. I need a couple new white towels that they're not expensive. That's how but I they buy look my towels so too. So nice. And then I go through and say, well, okay, I'll throw out the the one that looks the worst. Right. So I'd rather do towel. that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We have dog, plenty of dog towels. Yes. Too. <laughs> but then, then I don't have to worry like, oh my gosh, makeup got on my $60 towel. Yeah. I just throw it out and get another one or, <laughs> or give it to the dog. The dog doesn't care. And actually what I've been doing lately is dog shelters and, and like my vet, they mm-hmm. love to get towels. Yeah, we do that too. We used to do that mm-hmm. with the Girl Scouts. We would collect the towels and the sheets for that. Um, yeah, so I don't, yeah, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know the difference idea. because I've really never owned a $60 towel. Yeah. I just know that I don't want to worry about a towel and I would worry about a $60 I I towel. I don't want to worry about a towel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I feel better. Anita, do you think we should worry about towels? No. Right. Well, I mean, I don't spend a ton on towels, but I know we've had some sponsors lately. I got a bunch of towels that were very expensive, and so far they've been quite nice. So I bet you they've been I'll let you fun. know okay. uh, a year okay. from now if they're faring better than the other towels. But okay. okay. I also, it's a little different for me because I'm very concerned about chemicals in our home. So I don't use any fabric softeners, be- also because mm, they don't, don't my towels don't, don't absorb no. water. Right. So mm-hmm. our towels tend to be rougher than for people who use the fabric softener. I and try you use try, the fabric softener, the water slides yeah. around on your body. Well, try, oh, yeah, you can't even use them. Yeah. Try wool dryer balls. I'm I'm like sold on – actually, I make them. So I'll have a – we can put a um, link to my homemade dryer balls. I've got a link it. to them on Amazon. I'll include that <laughs> Okay, just want to buy and, them. Um, put, I also put essential oils in them. So yeah, it, although it I had a reader, good. a reader told me, mm, be careful about that because it can get on your, the things I've that are in the I've never had it. Well, I guess it could, but I've so, never yeah, had so that So maybe issue. she's had that happen. So I just rub it in that. and I've never, mm-hmm. ever, ever, ever had that happen. And I use it all the time. Okay. But I get, no, I get these at, you know, um, Trader Joe's, but you can get, but you can get them other places. You can get them uh, again, Amazon. I'll have a link there mm-hmm. so you can get them online, but the dryer I do the dried lavender in a bag, a little baggie, a little, um, it's like a kind of a bag, a little thing. It's not plastic, but you just throw those in the dryer and then you have the very gentle lavender scent. So, Oh, do, does it last? Well, it's a very soft scent. I uh-huh. mean, it's not, it's not chemically, so it's not going to stay wonderful. as long as a chemical. But if you use your towels, we don't have a ton of towels. So ours turn over pretty fast. So it, it, 
I thought well, everybody in my house, scent. well, the two people, they to use like five towels each when they take showers. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. I, I have am. a, t- I have so many towels. Okay, we better get back to updates. Sorry, we love, sorry, I'm going to have to yeah, change towels. the name of this episode now. <laughs> well, why don't why don't we do some research and do an episode Ooh. on choosing towels, and maybe I'll maybe I'll break down and buy a sixty dollar towel. No, somebody about to give me one. I don't think I could do that. There's too many other good things to buy. Yeah, see, I sort of agree with you. But hey, if we're going to talk about it, I guess we should. Well, here's we another idea. Totally. Okay, this has nothing to do with towels. I saw this on Pinterest. I haven't seen anywhere to buy these. So I'm going to have to do a little research. But it's a great idea. Bold colored lampshades. They were oh. gorgeous. Oh. What a great way to update a lamp. So I don't know where you get these, but I'll let you know when I find out. Or well, just any great lampshade. You know my you know my philosophy. Yes. I'd rather buy a cheap lamp and put an expensive shade on it because um you know you can get you can get like I have one sitting right here in my study from Kmart and it's the cutest base and I just put it's like a uh iridescent white waffle weave Mm-hmm. pillar. It's really pretty. And it was so cheap and a horrible lampshade. So I got a, a expensive lampshade. It looks like a million bucks. Oh yeah. So well, that's yeah. a good thing to put your Switching money your in. Switching out your lampshade is a good idea. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just going to say something. I can't remember. <laughs> While you're thinking Oops. about that, here's another idea because Oops. I've seen these all over the place and I think they're really beautiful. If you need a little side table, yeah, I've seen a lot for under a hundred dollars of those cute gold tables, oh, the metal so tables cheap. with the marble tops. Yeah, Aren't those I adorable. Love those. Yeah, you can get those at Home Goods or someplace like that. And what a great little that. side table! Yeah, those are so cute, and I bought a few of them, and they're just darling. And you can tuck them in these little places. So, you know, sometimes you can't find a, an area that, or you don't have enough space for a full table, but you just want to be able to put your teacup down or something down next to where you're sitting. Those are perfect. And his, uh, I didn't have this. Excuse me on my list, but I this made your little sweet gold tables made me think of this. What about a garden stool? Those are uh, great. Oh, I love to pop those just next to a chair. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, I have three outside, but I have probably that many inside. I just love the look of them, and they come in a myriad of colors. I've spray painted one, a hot yellow one I got because it was on super sale, and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to spray paint that. I can't pass it up. So I got it and sprayed it like a gunmetal gray, um, Mm -hmm. um, but it was like a metallic finish. It's one of my favorite. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, you can definitely, on sale, I mean- you can They're get usually them for $100. under hundred, like eighty nine, something well, like that. You some can of even them do better. Depends where you get them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know a couple of sites that are going like, why would you pay that for a garden? Yeah, you store? do not have to pay a lot for those. Keep looking. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I just had Pier One had a really great sale on they had limited colors, but it was my client in New York <gasps> spray City. Spray paint it. Well, you could spray paint <laughs> oh, it. Oh, I have spray painted my garden stool before. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You go. But, girl. Uh, the Pier One sale, I don't know if it's still going on, but they had limited colors, but they had some great colors and they had this bright red. Good price? Is, yeah, it's really great. Oh, price. okay. I now go I've to got mine. to go visit them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, as soon as it's over, if I if I'm gone for a while, right. just talk amongst yourselves. I've probably <laughs> gone over there. No, you cannot leave till we're okay. done recording. Wait, well, I, they, I you do can have... use those anywhere. So obviously, yes. you can use them in the garden. Okay, you can use them in in your living rooms. Right, you can use them not even next to because they're small enough. Right, you just have to be like next to the sofa or the chair. Mm-hmm. It can be slightly mm-hmm. in front of it, which is actually really comfortable when you're sitting there, when you can reach down and maybe the coffee table's a little further away. You can sort of tuck them in in these interesting spots. So even if you have a side table, it can be this extra little resting place that you can then move around. The other area that I use garden stools to great success is in my showers. Oh, yes. Great that. idea. Yeah, because in the one <laughs> with the glass doors, uh, you mm-hmm. know, the- I may have to go do that. Yeah, yeah. But just don't sit down on it. I could just see you slipping off. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> it's, not for sit. it's not for like <laughs> meditating or being the thinker or anything like that. It's putting your leg up and shaving your leg. You know, we don't have to get into details. You can uh-huh. stick with me. You know what's going on in there. But we we didn't have one of those, you know, sort of tiled Benches. niche things that stuck mm-hmm. out where you could put your foot. So you're, mm-hmm. you're kind of like, oh, how am I, you know, you're doing this like 
Pilates core work balance and while you're trying to like <laughs> not cut your shin. And I thought, hmm, there's got to be a better way. And so up came the garden stool and now it's perfect. And okay, I really so- like the way it oh. looks in there. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. That's it. That's something else I love to use in my home. And I think a lot of people really love are monograms. Do you love a monogram? So, yeah. I know. So I mean, that's something that I've started putting on everything. On pillows. It's like you're going to camp. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just, uh, it's going to be a fancy of, camp if, that, if that's, that's a very fancy camp. Oh, oh. <laughs> but that, I love the monogram. You can put them on hard surfaces too, like a yes. tray. I, I made yes. it. I did a lucite tray and did um, a cutout of a monogram and stuck it on the bottom of the lucite. What was the lucite? Now, how did um, you get your box cutout, frame? Your monogram cutout. Um, I have a Cricut, so oh, I it actually, oh, lucky a cutting you. machine. I thought yeah, for the well, longest time I was like, why do people have a Cricut? Is this like um, what was that j- well, movie? I'll tell you where the guy had the Cricut. I'm like, why do all these people have Cricut? <laughs> well, oh, oh, well, um, no. Well, the company gave it to me a few years ago when I U T. Yeah, when I did a when I um worked with Balsam Hill, uh huh, and they but they're they're wonderful. Like I'm thinking, why didn't I make the invest? I mean, it's not even that big of an investment. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Why didn't I do this? Anyway. I think I need one because yeah. Yeah, I love the monograms. I'm telling you, I would slap them on everything. If okay. I could. Well, you could also paint them on. So just know that you could paint like on the back of a lucite tray, you could paint the monogram. Okay. Could I just say this? Um, how about putting, getting a new throw rug? For this is a small one, like maybe for the inside of your front door. Mm-hmm. I really, it's good that you have a doormat on your outside, but it's really also good that oh, you yes. have. I have actually an oil and you cloth. can get a monogram. There you go. There you go. That um, for under a hundred dollars, you could really have a nice little throw rug, especially if it's wool, because it won't stain as readily. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. I do have one other thought on the monogram. I did this on a picture. I don't know where I got it, but it wasn't a great color and it wasn't galvanized or anything. It was just kind of not meh. And so I spray painted it white and it just looked a little boring. And then I bought at, I guess probably Michael's or something, a large peel off, you know, letters. And so I did mm-hmm. W, but I didn't like it black. So guess what? I spray painted it gold. So I just took the, <laughs> you know, the sheet and I spray painted all the, the W's yellow, you know, and it was like no big deal. And then I peeled it off and I just stuck it on the picture so that it was white with this gold W and it looks so cool. And now it's, it's actually appeared in many places in my home and now it's sitting in my kitchen. Well, um, but that's a really go. nice way to personalize something. And again, it's one of those projects that Kelly likes. It starts and it finishes within an hour. I like including that dry too. time. And, uh, you know, it gives your, your home a little personality for under a hundred bucks, way under a hundred bucks. So today has been so much fun. I uh, bet you guys have a bunch of ideas of how to update your house for under a hundred dollars, maybe even way under a hundred dollars. So if you do, please email us. We would love to um, do an, an you know, updates under a hundred number two, Part two or add it to a reader question or just hear your ideas. And so we can run and go use them in our own home. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So you are, you inspire us really so much all the time with your emails. So keep them coming. And remember, we are here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey, everybody. We want to thank you so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. And we want to make it even easier for you to listen. And it's easier if you subscribe. You just click the subscribe button on our website, www dot decorating tips and tricks dot com or you can subscribe through Apple Podcast or any of your favorite podcast listeners. When you subscribe, DTT comes free right to you three days a week. So until next time.